Right, this video is covering a lot of adult topics and so children, um, as much as they probably need to hear this, it's not a video for children. I was watching the Andy Anderson and Tony Hawk, the Wolf and Hawk podcast. But that moment really was like, like I'm not even joking, I'm gonna sound crazy. And I saw Andy Anderson talking about um, his experience in the Olympics. I saw you uh, skate the Olympics. Um, yeah. With and then his video part, and then he breaks down and has a little cry. I'm sorry if I cry today, dude. I, I have I have been, uh, I have a thing where like, I, I get a, a wall up so I can't cry, and then. And then Wolf uh, comforts him, and it's a really nice moment in in skateboarding podcasting really now i'm like an easy cry for a little bit i i cry all the time i'm supposed to be a big tough guy i cry on the internet and my friends are like hey man maybe don't cry on the internet it's not good for your business and then i kind of i was i remember apologizing i was like i'm sorry i won't do that anymore and then i got healthier mentally because i got past it all by crying and letting it out whilst i was watching that i've been wanting to make this video for a long time but not really known how to come at it so the reason I am making this video is something that since I began skateboarding has been an interesting one for me, especially now with the Olympics and people going to the gym and training and being healthy. Um, there's been a, a culture in skateboarding. Uh, back when I started, we had the piss drunks, a crew that were basically alcoholics and promoting alcohol and alcohol abuse. Uh, then we had Jackass, which was kind of self-abuse, and I think it runs along the lines of skateboarding as well. Skateboarding, you have to take a slam, you need to be able to take uh, pain. This kind of culture of, of drink and alcohol and drugs um, and not being able to cry and don't wear pads has always really irritated me. And from when I started skateboarding 20 years ago, uh, actually over 25 years ago to now, there's been so many things that have happened, positive and negative, and I have a s argument with myself because I used to love fun things like Jackass, absolutely love Bam Margera, uh, and the, the, it was generally fun. And then things like the Piss Drunks, um, you had stuff like Dirty Sanchez, and this, you know, real cool image of, of drink and smoking and, and doing things like that. and. It really irritates me because a, a number of high profile people recently within skateboarding have passed away due to alcohol and drug abuse. I really do feel that this topic has only started to be covered by people like Thrasher. I did see that they'd done an article recently with people who've gone through and come out the other side. I, I don't want to name names, but there's a couple of um, high level professionals that were even in the Tony Hawk's game that have come out the other side, that are now um, doing so sobri sobriority? Sobriority? Sobriety. Can't even say the word. When I was a lot younger, uh, I lost a family member to, to drugs and alcohol, and it really affected me when I was younger, and I think that's probably why I've always had a strong stance of, on not really... I've never looked up to any of the people that were abusive 25 years ago, and there's been a number of really high-profile sad incidents of where alcohol has um, really caused some some hor horrific moments in, in skateboarding and skateboarders history. And it really, it irritates the crap out of me that uh, pads aren't cool and like going to the gym isn't cool, yet being a self-destructive, uh, and I hate to use the word, but toxic person in skateboarding is somehow promoted and, and looked up to. It's kind of ironic because a lot of the great characters in in more than skateboarding, in art and a number of other uh, sub subcultures, have come from usually you know having to deal with things. And unfortunately, art, skateboarding, drugs tend to be a way of dealing with things in life. You know that's the thing. I don't judge people who want to drink or or smoke or whatever, but for it to be promoted as something that's cool and for you know don't wear a helmet and drink loads of beer. Uh, and a number of these people that have promoted it aren't here with us anymore. You know, stay rad, be really cool. Well, being really cool isn't, you know, ending up losing yourself. It's a really, really sensitive topic, but I feel like if anyone's going through anything where they need help, 
they should be reaching out to friends, to pro professional organisations. There's a number of them out there. And I really hope that skateboarding progressing away from from the subculture of, I, I hate to use the word, I need to find another word in the thesaurus, but toxic, to self-destructive. I think self-destructive is better. I don't like the word toxic, but we need to come away from the self-destruction. But there is a horrendous parallel because skateboarding uh, is within itself generally self-destructive. You're trying hard tricks. I think that skateboarding is positive, a good way, a healthier way of escapism and getting away from the general day-to-day -day life, seeing friends, hanging out with friends at the skate park and going skateboarding um, instead of losing yourself to a bottle or anything else, uh, you know, of substance abuse. The culture with drinking and drugs and not crying and being a man is, uh, I mean, over the 25 years I've, I've seen a lot of people that, you know, have pushed that and now sadly aren't with us. And so it's an e easy pickings to say, oh, he wears a helmet, or, oh, he's straight edge, or, or, and it's just sad. It's just, and it's not, it's nothing new. It's been in skateboarding for, for over 25 years of me skateboarding. It definitely, definitely has got better. But when I was younger, it was very, very, very... I remember going down to Biddyford Skate Park having a skateboard thrown at me because I had a helmet on. And that idea, that culture within skateboarding still exists, even with people like Andy Anderson who absolutely shred and wear a helmet. The only thing I will say, going back to the podcast with Tony Hawks, is the, the ability to be in touch with one's emotions is super important. And... You know, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling sad, um, talking to people, getting it off your chest. And as they say in that podcast, you know, it's okay to cry. We all cry. And I think it's kind of sad that people would pick at that and bully people who wear a helmet, cry, aren't the idea of uh, of coolness that, that we need in skateboarding. Going to finish off by making sure that in the down in the bio information there's links to charities that help with mental health because i believe that this topic this culture is led by mental health generally and i think that it's really i think you can be a really good skateboarder and have good mental health i don't think you have to be the van gogh of skateboarding um, and have absolutely dreadful mental health and be a good skateboarder. I think that the two can go hand in hand you can be happy and be a fantastic skateboarder. So information down in the bio strong topic i've wanted to make a video on this i just hope that i can edit around the nonsense that i've been saying difficult video to make thank you for watching i'm gonna go and enjoy enjoy the sunshine the uk's actually got some sunshine fantastic and it was it was super refreshing to go and see the guys in norway help teach the kids skateboarding and just Ah, just get in touch with what for, for me what skateboarding is about and that is community helping each other out and if you you know bringing in new people to skateboarding sharing the wealth sharing the fantastic sport that we have that is skateboarding this fantastic culture that we have that is skateboarding and unfortunately with anything in the world there is negatives and so yeah kind of concentrated a little bit on the negative but I wanted to get that off my chest um, it's it's not changed and it needs to change and we need to see we need to see a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of maturity I think around these topics because it's you know it's important I'm gonna leave it with a snippet from Andy Anderson's and it's a big part of the helmet well like protect your brain bro your brain is you your brain is you like everything else is like an extension of you. That's it, I'm done, I'm done.